when they introduced yeah. Boss. They went nuts. You're not pumped for this, are you, Quadros? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a little history with Mr. Yeah. El Wapo. And this is why I am here. And here's a guy who's got to feel like he's the only guy in the building talking about the guy on the other side of the ring. Ruben Gentlemen, Villarreal. Ready? There he is. You ready? Let's go. And I would probably sum up Boss Rutten's game plan in this fight with two words. Low kick. Oh, big left oh, hand left right off the bat. Set up with the right hand. For you people who have never seen Boss Rutten fight, just watch this. Oh, man, he's on mark already. He's almost apologizing to the guy for hitting him so hard. Bill Rao was giving it the it doesn't hurt, and of course you know what that means. If you're talking in that ring to Boss, he's definitely going to be talking back to you most of the time with his feet and his fists. Well, the real interesting thing is, is that Ruben just shook those shots off, but he's not going to be able to shake them off all night. Well, no. Took a bunch of them right there. Took about four shots. He's still <laughs> standing there. Boss had kind he's of an still standing. Look he did have an astonished look, didn't he? He, did. he hasn't thrown a high kick yet, though. Needs to be patient here. I think he should throw the look at I think it's already gone longer than most people thought it was going to go. I think that's true. Right hand lead by Boss. Boss going to the going body, to the body. With a jab, or as he would say, a left straight. I remember, this was supposed to be Kimo Leopoldo, who was to be the opponent of Boss Rutten. Villarreal stepped in when. <laughs> When chemo was uh, found to have an illegal substance in his blood. Those guys are having a nice little conversation in there. Yeah, I think they are. You know, and I think Boss has got to be thankful in a way that Ruben stepped up to the plate. Ooh, oh, nice man. left hand. If that left hand had landed flush, Ruben might have gone down. Got to hand it to Warpath, though. He's still standing, man. He's, he's taking some serious shots. Yeah, so far the Warpath is not a dead end street. A chopping right hand. I don't think we have to wonder about Boss's chin, though. No. Ooh, a nice uppercut. He's yet to throw the kicks. I know he hasn't thrown a single kick yet. I'm, I'm a little surprised. It's only a matter of time, Quadros. There it is. There he goes. Back in the leg. Mr. Quadro, excuse me. <laughs> Mr. G, it's a pleasure. It's my I pleasure. remember one time it was you, me, and Boss Rutten uh, hosting the Pride Fighting Championships in, in front of 91,000 people August 2002. And now look where we are, watching our boy fight. I know. What a pleasure. It shows you what happens to X. You know what? That, that hurt, hurt him that badly. Hurt. And don't think Boss is gonna, not going to take advantage of it. There it is, right there. And he's going to do that and then come with an overhand right and a left hook. I said it at the beginning of the fight, and I'll say it again. Game plan is low kick for this big monster. Yep. There's the right hand. Because Boss realizes now I can't take this guy out. The guy's got a chin like granite. Wow. Don Fry couldn't take him out. If anything, be a negative for Warpath is that he's not very fast, but he's limping. Look at yeah, this. Yeah. He's limping. One, one more. It's only one or two kicks. kicks. Oh, oh, there it is. Uh oh, there it is. That's it. That's Whoa. it. This is shades of Paul Barlas versus Marco Huas back in the old UFC. Warpath came in, got chopped right down, and Boss is feeling bad. El Wapo has returned successfully here at the Forum. Ladies and gentlemen, he's back. It's the crowd goes crazy. Well, with good reason. I mean, he did absolutely nothing wrong here. Truly was fighting an opponent that might have been a little outmatched. But you can't criticize anything that he did today. No, the guys, you know, you got to pat him on the back for stepping in the ring with, uh, you know, with anybody, let alone a boss root. And he's still in some pain. Yeah, he is. And he's going to be in a lot of pain for a long time with that leg. Because boss kicking you is like getting kicked by a giant redwood tree. You know, they say that you can't condition your chin. But when you've got a great chin like that, then you might have to start working conditioning those thighs to take the low kick, or yeah. at least to learn how to check it. But a guy this big and lumbering, it's hard for him to deal with the speed of Boss Rutten. Well, reality is that if he didn't think that he was going to try to chop him down, then he, uh, he, he was from a different planet. Yeah. It was only a matter of time. You know, 
my hat goes off to that man on the left. Absolutely. Ruben Villarreal, Warpath, he stepped in with the legend on two days' notice. That's a warrior right there. That's unbelievable. And Boss Rutten knows that. Now, as you said, that was his, that was both his, the curse and a blessing in that he stepped in with a warrior. I suppose that's the blessing, but I think Rutten showed what a warrior is all about. Now, I know it's tough. We didn't see much, but you're a great friend of Boss's. You've followed him for a number of years. How does he compare right now to how he was when he left seven years ago? Well, one thing that I noticed is that he really got out first. Okay, Tito up to his old bad ways. Huntington Beach bad boy with Jenna Jameson. She's the one on the left, by the way. Cleared that up well. Wow, that's a hell of a combination. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Kevin James, Boss Witten's corner man, probably advising him to say, you know, give up the punches. This guy can take a shot. This guy's swatting back. Ruben really never landed anything in this fight. The best weapon he came in the ring with was his chin. Okay, now here Boss is, and he digs this low kick. And even though Ruben checks the kick and they go shin to shin, man, that was still a hard shot. Okay, and here it is. Boss Witten just loads up on that shot, and he just caught him with a toe. And it was even with that, it was so much whip into that thing, Ruben had had enough. Do you think we're going to get the patented Boss Rutten splits? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Well, it was an impressive performance, nonetheless. Again, yeah. an outmatched opponent to be sure, but pretty impressive comeback for a guy who's not been in there for seven years. Boss is not a guy to let himself go. There's his corner man, Kevin James and Ryan Parsons. Kevin James from King of Queens. And Kevin James uh, takes privates with Boss and says that Boss beats him up on a regular basis. But I think that's exaggerating a little bit because Boss is a very good trainer and he's not going to smack. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of three minutes, 24 seconds at round number one. A kick to the left leg ends this fight. Our referee in charge, Josh Rosenthal, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, successful in his return to combat, the one and only El Guapo, Basru.